So one of the questions that's come up quite a bit on the checklist interaction is around setting up the interaction so that the learner has to check or click each of these check boxes before they can continue to the next slide. Now this is really right in the middle of storyline sweet spot because we don't need variables to set this up. We can use basic states and then evaluate which of these checklists uh, boxes has already been clicked. So the first thing I'd want to do, if I preview this, you'll see that the, the I'm just using the default player here where we have the uh, next and previous button. If I click next, it's going to jump to the next slide if I had previewed the entire scene. First thing I want to do is actually disable that next button. I want to visibly show the learner that this is not an option until they uh, have finished a task. So what I want to do is I'm going to change the state of my next button, and that's the default object here. Down here at the bottom, change the next state, not to normal, but to disabled when the timeline starts. So the timeline being this whole checklist slide interaction. As soon as this timeline loads right here at frame one, I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that that next button shows as disabled, So okay? Now if I preview the file, you can see that it's been grayed out. It's a great visual indication that this next button is not currently available. So the first thing I wanna do is look at my items here, each of my checklist items, and if I jump down into the states, you can see that we have a visited option. The visited is really easy to track. As soon as you click something, it's visited. You can't unvisit it. So the moment a learner clicks one of these buttons, they're gonna become visited. And that's the state that we wanna track. We can actually track visited or track the items that have been clicked. When all items have been clicked, go ahead and jump to the next slide or change the next button to normal. And that's normal is what we wanna do. So I'm gonna come back in here to trigger and I want to say change state of next button to normal when you when not when user clicks, but when the state, which is all of, so we want to not just do any of or none of, when all of these buttons are visited. Click OK. And let's go ahead and just test this out real quick. And this won't matter. It won't matter which order we look at. You can see down here it's still uh, disabled. I can go through these any way I want. Now when I click this last one, this you should see the next button here change to normal. And there we go. And now we can jump to the next slide. So that's how easy it is to set up an interaction that is locked down until the learner completes a series of on-slide tasks.